What's up everyone, this is David Spector back with Destiny 2. So, um, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video today because we're all we're going to do now is cross off the last three barons we have here. And then, uh, there should be more than that. So I think we have to clear these guys out before we handle whatever the last ones are. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I did a little bit of leveling up to my gear just a little bit um, in my free time, so... Uh, did some bounties. The bounties actually give some pretty good rewards here, which is pretty nice, although they really um, increase the difficulty of the lost sectors. I mean, they're still super easy to go do. Uh, shouldn't take more than a couple minutes for each area, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think they just like seriously buffed up the health of all the uh, lost sector bosses, so I don't know, but they gave out some nice purple gear that it's a little bit better for this area. It does suck that they spell that you spend all this time right before if you were if you were participating in the Solstice of Heroes, you were spending all this time uh, getting some better gear, and then now it's obsolete, like a week later. Okay, the hangman. Has been drained. No, mauled. I see a name carved into it, Rexus Vaughn. The hangman. At least he gets a cool I've got a lead on him. That's one of Spider's servitors. It might help us out if we free it. What's up, Spider Bro? You may notice I switched out the combat bow. It's really fun, but I didn't feel like um, upping its power rating right now. Servitors are holy to the fallen. They oh, oh. The ether that the I can't fallen believe I survived that. And grow. It's shocking that the scorn who were once fallen would even attack servitors. By the emperor, this heresy. Just loading, 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 loading. Okay, so I was wondering why these guys were taking so long, but apparently I misread what was said, and there's like, they're warring over some loot or something, so now I have to mop up all these guys before I can do what I want. Is this what they want? Here, it's mine now. Go away. I took it, so now there's nothing for you guys to fight over. All right, got one more spider dude, or not? Oh, see, this guy's cool looking. He has uh, he has that same weird looking weapon that the other scorn do, but I like how it looks on him. You know? How many punches does it take to get to get to the center of a scorn? Let's find out. Okay, I really wish there was a scorn still alive so I could finish that joke. More of these ravagers. I really dislike the ravagers. It, it, weird, because they're not difficult. They're not even all that freaky looking like the spider ones. They're just, I don't know. It's, I think it's more to do with my dislike of them all using those stupid uh, weapons than just the one guy. Like, the hangman is... The ha I can't English. The hangman is cool. I do like his weapons. These other guys, not so much. Okay, he already lost a little bit of health, but let's find out. One. Woohoo! Let's just say three. Saw, dude.
Fight me yourself, little bitch. Say cheese. Wait, when did you guys get here? Okay, running, 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 running. Okay, the next time he shows up with Super and hopefully that'll finish him. Why bother with guns when you can just punch people all the time? See, that guy gets it. The Hangman enjoyed this, causing pain. Let's get out of here, Guardian. I don't want to think about what he did to Cade. All he really did was throw Cade through a wall. I feel like that's way less painful than dying. This is a synaptic amplifier, a mind control device specifically calibrated to interface with the hive. Wait, what is? We're on the trail of the this is called the mind bender. Spooky. Okay, I don't have time to deal with the hive. I've got a mind bender to kill. Why are the hives just so freaky? Trace the original signal to a nearby cave. Let's check it out. Is it the cave I just walked over? Of course it is. It has to be. Wait, why are these guys getting shields? Those uh, shields were only being used at a scorn. Mind bent acolytes. Don't do drugs, kids. Another amplifier. So that is that what this is? I need a minute to triangulate the signal's origin. You are the most advanced piece of technology in the world, and you need several minutes to triangulate something, huh? I guess I'll just get an excuse to waste my super. Got the coordinates. The signal's coming from that crashed tomb ship. That's not good. The mind bender has Shrek. Shrek hurts. Could you stop shooting me? I'm dealing with your problem for you. Tracking now is from the source. The uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I have to climb back up. Oh, that was easy. Where are we going? Where are we going? Is it? There it is. This guy's file says he's obsessed with creating his own throne world, a pocket dimension in the hive's ascendant plane. When the hive kill powerful beings, their throne worlds increase in size. But that should only work for the hive. I wonder what my throne world would look like. I mean, at this point, we've killed Crota, Oryx, all uh, Gaul. I was really hot. I forgot I didn't have my grenade! Who needs grenades? I have rocket launchers and fists. I feel so squishy. I'm a titan and I feel really squishy for some reason. And I'm. 
I know I have to meet the power requirement, so I don't know why I feel so squishy. Squishy, but I hit like a truck. Reminds me so much of uh, the Dreadnought back in Destiny 1. Not oh, really, no, this place really reminds me of it. Good times. He's got some interesting looking horns. Is he like a warlock wannabe? Let's see, he's obsessed with the hive, has weird horns on his head and practices more of the dark arts as such as far as their technology goes. Yeah, this guy is pretty much the warlock of the spawn. Stay on him. I haven't seen one of these portals in a long time. Ascendant Plane. Ooh, Orcs, is that you? How did the mind I'm home! A world this big? Oh, Cade. Wouldn't that only count for Oldrin then? Like, shouldn't this be Oldrin's throne world if that's the case? It doesn't matter, we gotta kill him either way, it's just... Get back here. We're already in the place you retreated to. How are you retreating from the place that you already retreated to? <sighs> I kind of want to throw on the world. That'd be cool. Most overpowered thing in the game. Slightly too short ledges. Okay, I need... No, no! I couldn't run up the ledge. I was stuck running against the rails. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, please. Oh, man. I have to do the whole thing over again. I'm just going to use rockets over and over again. Then when the ogre comes up, I'm going to use my super. Okay, run away so I can use my super. Where was the other door? I think it was like right. There it is. I knew where it was all along. Yep. Come on out. We've gotta go. This place is destabilizing. The floor is lava. The floor is interdimensional goo that will probably consume me alive. I want to think Cade can rest easier now that the throne world built from his death has been destroyed. I hope so. Four barons down. That's it. It's only been four. It could have been four, right? It has to be more than four. I did three in the last video, and I'm at two here. That's five. What am I missing? Okay. Last one's up there. We were already in that building when we were dealing with, uh, Trickster. Mr. Mark Hamill villain wannabe. So, should know exactly how to get there. This is a sniper's nest. Great sight lines. Nice of him to just leave his stuff lying around. Murdered Cade's ghost. That was a one-shot kill. Keep your guard up. Okay. You know, this is one of those times where I really think it would be cool if the way to beat this guy was to beat him in like some sort of sniper shootout, right? Like, um, like if you just managed, if you were just camping from up there and took him out with like a single well placed shot. I mean, because that's how he killed Cade's ghost, which resulted in his death. So, I don't know. I think that would be like a really what's the word I'm looking for? Poetic way of killing it, right? Like, that's how he 
resulted in Cade's death, so if I did it that a similar way, I can avenge him correctly. So it's probably just gonna be a normal shootout in a boss room. See, like I'm just close quarters. Now it's in. It's like this guy's a sniper. Why am I fighting him in close quarters? That's not what he was doing. He's retreating, but I'm tracking his position. Bring me whatever the guy's name was. That forward joke really landed on its head. There he is. There's something off. Yeah, that's not a one shot. Decoy smarter than he looks. Lightweight simulation tech. I've never seen anything like it. If we find more, let's grab it. You know, let's take a page from the sniper's book and just take some high ground and deal with everybody from here. Wait, am I an idiot and they're just gonna keep spawning reinforcements until I finish what I need to finish? Okay, I'm gonna let these guys have their shootout and just go and look at the snipers that I'm supposed to be looking for, apparently. Okay, there's one. A two. Oh, that guy just gave away his position. And I saw another one on the left. There he is. <laughs> this guy is the definition of somebody who just types LOL at the end of every single text. Huh, I'm dying! Huh, LOL. Just got shot! LOL. Seriously, need to go to the hospital! LOL. This guardian is tearing through us and killing everybody! LOL. Maybe we shouldn't have killed Kate, lol. Your ghost on my wall, next to Kate. LOL. <laughs> Do you even LOL, dude? Oh, I just love hive caverns. Is that Mathoon? Is that you? I just spent more time in hive areas than I have fallen or scorn like locations. Oh, it's gonna be one of those fights, huh? Can the decoys actually hurt me or are they just one of those? Oh, yeah, they're supposed to be confusing, but really this guy clearly looks different than the rest of them. Okay, apparently the decoys can't hurt me because I'm totally getting hit by them right now. Those are not decoys. Let me deal with the abs before I get on him. You know, this is one of those places, this is one of the few areas in the game where, like, the no res things make sense. Like, it makes sense that your ghost can't res you in this place. Like, if you die, you're dead, you're dead. Because, um, 
like the ghost wouldn't come out. He has, it would be unsafe for him to come out with you have this guy who clearly knows that ghosts are the key to keeping guardians in. I'm gonna be a bit more liberal with my rockets than I was in the last fight. Oh, that was. Didn't see the spider guy. Maybe I'll use my super sooner than later. I don't know. I, I, I do have a tendency to hold on to it way uh, longer than I should. It gets me into trouble sometimes that I could have easily avoided. Not again. Not a second time. One thing I love about these uh, explodey dudes, and the uh, same thing with the, uh, the hive, is that they take their allies with them when you blow them up, which is very convenient. I got my super, let's just finish him off. Hey Ghost, wanna see what's going on? No? Okay, so I said this like at the start of this mission. I think it would have been so you know, much better. There's a reason I keep a low profile when you fight. It's just smarter. But Cade's ghost was just like him, flashy, cocky. And we never heard his ghost speak once. She didn't deserve to go down like that. Six names off our list. Only two left. Then Aldrin. Okay, so you Even said. Your spider has a lead on the machinist and the fanatic for us. See, you said four when we killed the, the mind bender, and now you're saying six. So, as far as I know, I was following the power order. I don't know how the numbering got messed up for you. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think it would have been really cool if the, the way to finish this mission was to uh, beat him in like a straight up sniper shootout. Just because I think that would have been like, it would have made more sense for the character. I mean, that's... Kind of, uh, that's how he defeated Kate. That's what this guy is supposed to be known for, so I'd rather it be won by taking him out in a sniper duel. But, oh well. Is Petra there? No. Look at you. If our prodigal prince is not yet afraid of you. He should be. Six down. Yet the strongest three remain. But the prince and his pet fanatic. Reports are few. However, your bloodbath has forced the machinist out of hiding. Moreover, I hear she's amassing great quantities of corrupted ether to grow the fanatics' depraved armies. When you pay the machinist a visit, I urge you to destroy any and all caches of their vile ambrosia. Will do. And by the way, death suits you. Thank you? Right, you've killed 68 barons, their death have forced the machinist, the fanatics' right hand out of hiding. So, now we get to go deal with him. Guardians never cease to abuse. Once again, thank you. Okay, well, that's it. Going to be it for this video. Like I said, it was going to be a shorter one. Um, I think after that, all that's... He said the final three, so after that, eh, we should just have to finish the last... 450. 450? That's a bit of a jump. I'm going to have to... Again, I'll probably have to go do some more. Excuse me. So I need to go do a little bit more leveling, get a little bit more gear, and then I'll come back and finish this off. So thank, thanks, everybody who finds this for watching, and yeah, that's it. Bye.